Hello guys, it's uh, Nick here again. Was long, long winter. Uh, the weather was terrible, so you know I'm doing that for fun, not not for any specific reason or something. And it 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 wasn't really nice at all. That's why I decided not to do any videos. It, you know, it's just too cold to do the things outside. Uh, I'm watching quite a few YouTubers. They're trying to keep the channel running, which it's amazing, really amazing to do all that uh, outside. But uh, you know, the fun bits just disappear. So I decided to stop for a while. Uh, now it's a time to to continue, and uh, uh, I was thinking a lot, like to keep going with uh, Coport or to try something different. Uh, Coport, it's it's really nice place. Don't take me wrong. It's amazing place to to buy a car, to to uh, sort it out by your own, and to drive really really good vehicle on cheap price. But in case we're reselling all that vehicles, uh, the price for resale, it's just ridiculous. And not only that, uh, uh, for example, if, if you spend like four or five thousand pounds for a car from Coppard, it's worth it because, uh, uh, you know, you can sort it out uh, that uh, the price of the vehicle after you, you fix it will be, will be quite high. But in case we're doing it with uh, like some you know thousand pounds or something it, it, it's nearly impossible to, to find a nice car to sort it out and to resell it for for nice profits uh, uh, it's, uh, i'm not saying it's not nice to to earn like four five hundred pounds uh, uh like we've done uh, with the beeper but you know on the end of the day it, when you're doing that you're waiting like a couple of months uh, to sort out the vehicle to to uh, receive the documents uh the all that waiting is just too much it's just too much and we're doing that in uh, some purpose to to earn money to try to run business and uh, that kind so uh, i decide not to buy the next vehicle from copart to buy it from a uh, like a uh, private seller and and uh, i i bought vehicle already uh, the price it's cheap really really cheap like ridiculous cheap and I spent 300 pounds uh, for that vehicle. Uh, outside look great. No problem with the bodywork at all, uh, except the wheels. They they need a bit touching up here and there. But uh, uh, you know we'll we'll spend some time in there. Uh, the the price is cheap uh, because of few reasons. Uh, firstly, uh, the MOT expiring in a week time. That's the main problem uh, the owner said to me that uh, there is a few issues quite a few issues uh, issues with uh, with the vehicle for example when you press the brake uh, uh, it's look like the ABS uh, uh, it's switching on immediately like your legs start jumping around the other thing it's uh, some noise from the back maybe that's uh, uh, bearings in some cases, not the bearings. It's uh, just the calipers that that they're stuck in some position and they give it a noise. Who we'll see that? The third problem: it's uh, engine management light. It's not on at all the time, but sometimes the car just uh, uh, you know cutting off and uh, stop working completely. So uh, uh, I I'll try to find out all that things why they fall and. Uh, we will try to repair them as well we'll try to make the car look a bit better uh, it's it's quite a nice car looking look like crazy nice I, I always love them the only reason to to you know the people not to to drive them so often it's, uh, it's two things uh, firstly they're breaking easily uh, you know if you don't know how to repair them can be really expensive if you know the parts are really cheap and you can do it by your own it's great car and the second reason it's a two-seater so where it's you know two-seater for most of the families it's you know ridiculous to drive two-seater and uh, that the rest of the car uh, 
it's cabrio so uh, it, that's the cabrio uh, mods work great you know it's no trouble at all So the first thing which we will do is to to check the level of the brake fluid, which on that Tigris it's located just over here. So you know, like you can see it, you have to remove the cover, and then you can have uh, access to to the tank. Uh, as far as I can see, it's, it's completely empty. So uh, I'll remove the cover and we'll have a look what's going on. Maybe that's causing the issue with the brakes. And that's the filter which, which I already mentioned. It's, it's not bad looking, but it's, it's rubbish. Uh, I don't like it so and we'll, we'll make it like black should look like. Okay, it's connected now. Uh, I'll scan the vehicle to see what what will say. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's a two ABS faults. I was completely expect that it's Body control module. That's worrying. Hopefully, it's not related to the cab remote. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Let's first let's see the ABS mode. Okay, wheel sensor signal circuit out of normal range. Okay, and front left wheel sensor incorrect signal. Okay, so front wheel sensor, there's two sensors there, and uh, most probably it's uh, the ABS sensor. There is a ring. Uh, inside the, the wheel next to the bearing and there is a actual sensor as well so it, if it's just the sensor that's fine I mean it's so easy to replace it but if it's the ring inside the the wheel and far as I know the, the previous owner told me that uh, the front wheel bearings has been replaced and if somebody which you know who doesn't know what he's doing replace them it's 
really possible to damage the 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 sensor if it's just the normal sensor which giving a signal you know to the ecu that's fine that's that's really easy to replace it but we will open it and we'll see what's what's wrong in there and uh, try to find out okay let's see now the body body control unit Just check this. Should shouldn't be any more fault. Yeah. Okay. Comfort closing low voltage or circuit open. You will have to have a look at that. Okay, I find out what that code mean. Uh, it's uh, what Voxel uh, calling one touch uh, window close and open. So uh, most probably it's uh, one of those controllers here or the one on the passenger side. But yeah, we will we'll have a look at those controllers and we'll see what's what exactly is the problem uh, It shouldn't be something too Too difficult. Maybe just a lost connection or we have to replace that whole unit uh, In both cases. It's nothing too much. Nothing too much And there's a one more thing uh, uh, Crumbshaft sensor. It, it's really often that thing to break it, because of the vibration in the engine, uh, that sensor is vibrating at all the time, and uh, sometimes it's 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 breaking, sometimes it's moving, and like I said, uh, we we have engine management light, but not at all the time, and uh, uh, it doesn't give any wrongs. I mean, any any faults on the on the ECU. But to be honest, when I bought the car, uh, I, I connect the unit there and uh, uh, it was showing uh, that crumbshaft sensor, you know, any, any error there, any, any fault there. So uh, I will buy that, the sensor and I will buy a few more things and uh, I'll see you in a second so we can, we can just unwrap them and see what what we have what we're gonna do and one more thing i ordered a few things from amazon as well which arrived today so we will do a little unpackaging and we'll see what what else we can add on to the car okay let's unwrap some of the packaging which which arrived today to see what we have uh, I order a few small bits, like nothing too special. Let me show you. Order it from Amazon. I will put the link in the in the description. That's the sensor. Uh, it's it's an ABS sensor. The front wheels, and the hands look like. Maybe it's just the connection break on the one which is on the car. Maybe it's some fault in the actual sensor. Hopefully that's bit. Hopefully it's not that a bit. Uh, I order it just because it's nice to replace it anyway. It's not expensive. Costs like twenty five pound, and uh, it's nothing bad to replace it. Uh, the one which is there look like quite new, but. Sometimes that's uh, after sale parts are terrible, so we'll replace it anyway. The other bit, it's uh, more like visual. It's one of those grills. Uh, the car, it's, uh, it's sporty looking and uh, you know, few of those will make her look even even better. So uh, 
I decide why not, you know, it's nothing special, but will look nice for sure. Okay, other thing, sandpaper, that's for the wheels. They got some uh, marks and uh, I will try to make them a bit different. Uh, there's uh, two silver colors, light silver and dark silver. From inside the light, light silver and uh, the, uh, from the edges to the center of the cap they are, they are uh, dark silver. I'll try to make them uh, black which uh, which is glossy black I bought it from Halford uh, you can order it of course but uh, it's, you know it's much easier to, to buy it from uh, straight from from Halford and uh, some of those well. you need to wrap it up so it's always nice to have masking tape not to mess up the rest of the wheel fish stickers I don't know why I buy them, honestly. Uh, I may stick a few of those on the car. I may not. We'll see. That was really cheap, so why not? And that's it all together for now. I will order a few more bits, uh, some uh, uh, class for the some uh, ventilation valve uh, lids as well. There is one missing, but uh, they're really cheap, so we'll look really nice with them. Uh, I order a line, uh, one of those wrapping lines, uh, which going through the whole car. Uh, I love that kind of thing. So uh, it just make the car look completely different. So nice, and it, it's really beautiful thing. Uh, if you know that Mustangs and uh, that kind of which they have uh, that lines through the car, it, it look really, really, really amazing. Um, I done that before with much bigger line with carbon fiber on uh, my uh, uh, RX-8 and changed the look of the car completely. So we will, we will install that as well. And uh, let's crack on. Let's see how it's going. And uh, what is the problem? Uh, oh, one more thing uh, with the car. The wheel is shaking. Uh, it's giving a, you can give a slight turn to the car and uh, that slight turn, uh, it's not registered through the tires. Uh, maybe it's some of the connections, maybe it's some of the links on the, on the actual wheel. Uh, I have no idea, but I will open and we'll check that. Hopefully it's not the whole rack, because the rack is sealed on the top side, and hopefully it's not the rack, but we'll, we'll check that and we'll have a look. And uh, the other thing is we need uh, to sort all that problems in uh, uh, six days range. Uh, the MOT expires in six days, I'm keeping the car on the road, and that's that's uh, uh, it's you know it's a must. So uh, we will see what we will do.